Welcome to TacosTheGeeks.com. Justin here back with more video game reviews. And today we are reviewing the early access game on Steam entitled Rekka. And it's a witchy time. Uh, as always, I give you an overview of the game. So without further ado, here we go. Discover animals, spirits, and secrets and take control of your walking home on a journey across bewitching landscapes. Forming an unbreakable bond with your chicken lake house as you explore mystical forests, swamps, and villages together. Meet townsfolk for ingredients and harness the power of nature under the guidance of Baba Jaga on a journey to become a powerful wielder of magic. <laughs> anyway, so that's pretty much the overview of the story. You are really kind of like this witch apprentice under Baba Jaga. And you basically got to kind of do a little fetch question here. And that's what I'll get into when it comes to the gameplay. The first thing that you're able to do with this game is to customize Rekka. So you have a various options to customize her from her skin tone to her hair. You can add uh, accessories such as, or uh, not say accessories, but you can add a tattoo. In terms of face, you can detail the various face styles that you can have. You can also detail her freckle amounts or if you want her to have freckles at all, her eye color, her eye shape, the uh, color of the iris on the eyes. And of course, there's always the outfits. Very limited, believe it or not, on the outfits here. And it's kind of weird that you're not able to customize the color of the outfits, which I thought was a little weird. But keep in mind, it is a early access game. So maybe down the line towards the full release, We'll get a lot more customization options, but I will have to say for what it is available in the early access, it is serviceable enough so you can make your witch look at least how you want her with the options given. So points for them to giving us a little bit of more customization feel instead of just a generic character build. Now, as far as the gameplay goes, how does this gameplay? Well, the most Part of what you're going to be doing, at least in this early access game, is fetch questing, getting ingredients, getting items for your chicken house once you meet Baba Jaga. But in the early stages of the game, when you're first uh, going through the motions of the game, you're able to do a lot of side quests here, such as find this person's wheel that goes to his cart, find uh, a chicken, or find a sheep that left the herd, or Help a girl, you know, put pumpkins in a pumpkin patch because she is too tired. So it's a lot of fetch questing and a lot of just getting items for your house when you eventually meet Baba Jaga. It does offer some other cool stuff, too, as far as getting to learn certain uh, ways of tricks and using crows and stuff like that down the line. But for the majority of it is exploration, talking to people, getting information about the world, and just getting item quests. This might not be what people are hoping for, to be honest with you. Playing it and doing some of the side missions for me, I was just like, okay, when are we going to get to some spells? When are we going to actually do some real witch crafting and stuff? But... In the beginning, it's not really that. It's it's literally just helping out the townsfolk, seeing what you can get. Because when you help the townsfolk and when you help people or when you help Baba Jago or you help some of the spirits and creatures, you'll get items for your house. And that is the main core of this game is building this particular chicken coop house to do it. And that for me was just like, okay, it's a world building game. It's a build, it's a game that you're just going to be building upon. And that's cool for those who want it. For me personally, I was expecting, I'm not saying action, but I was expecting a little bit more witchy activities, you know, spells. And, uh, well, there are some elements in here where she learns some elements of the witch. There's some really cool backstory in here as well. But as far as me, casting spells and uh doing kind of witch activities at least right now in this early access you're not really getting that you are literally kind of doing fetch quests and getting these particular items or help this person here and for the most part it, it yeah it could get some people i can see getting bored with it quickly but for those who really like the environment and story I, and who like the type of building the house and 
putting things together. This this game is going to keep you very engaged. And as far as the graphics goes, we'll talk a little bit about the graphics. Graphics is pretty decent as well. Once again, I'm not saying early access, I mean early access as an excuse, but it is still an early access game, so this couldn't this could just be a particular build, so it could be that textures are not fully fleshed out. Uh, I didn't really have any frame rate issues at all. I usually have my computer set to the high settings instead of ultra, so I didn't really try this on ultra settings to be honest with you. So, but for the most part, I do like the way the lighting is, the texture is. But also, when it comes to the building, the building of the actual house, the actual house, when you get to it, it's pretty fairly easy. It does get some time to get used to when placing things and rotating things. I, I will find to say that the hardest thing for me to build, and I know other players didn't have issues with it, but I'm not that good when it comes to building, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, I found putting the roof a little bit difficult at times, but... I did, for the most part, found the way to build everything to set things up pretty fairly easy. You have enough materials. They're really straightforward with the tutorial. So once you get to that main core of building your house, putting things in furniture, I would say the hardest part will be where do you want, and this is just a designer standpoint, where are you going to put everything? Everything that you collected from your side missions, everything that you collected for, for Baba Gaga, Baba Jaga, where are you going to put everything? Where do you want to set things up? So that, I would say, was actually the really most fun part was at the actual building of the house. And then once you build the house and you're seeing your house move and you've seen it from the outside, when you build the chicken coop and the chicken starts to rise up, your chicken house, and it starts moving, you see all your hard work in motion. It's a pretty good feeling. But here's a quick sample of the sound, folks. Check it out. not bad sounds not bad serviceable i like the soundtrack i think the soundtrack fixed the tone of the game it, it has a nice melancholy feel to it nice orchestra tracks as well it's a pretty decent soundtrack it does what it's supposed to do and that's to set the tone it makes the world feel and pop out alive so really no issues with the sound there are a little bit of voice acting elements from time to time but nothing really to like write home about so my final thoughts on record the early access game since it's early access we're either going to put buy it or wait for the full release i'm going to be giving this a wait for full release right now i feel that it's not too much meat on the bones to warrant a full-blown purchase at this time i will see i will say to wait to see what else they're going to put in here but as of right now i would say it will take you if you're just doing the main missions, it will take you probably three hours to complete everything. But if you're doing side quest exploration, you're really taking your time to build a house. You have a good chunk, six to eight hours here. But for right now, as the game is right now, I can't recommend a full buy. I will have to give you a wait for its full release and then check out the game. This is Justin from MetacosTheGeeks.com. What did you think of Rekka? Early access if you purchased it. Comment below. Let me know. If you like what we do here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Most of our viewers are not subscribed. It will be really nice if you do subscribe. It will really help us out here. And, and most importantly, visit otakosandgeeks.com for more coverage that are not here on YouTube. Check out our interviews. Check out our coverage on various cons. And peace, love, and happiness. I will catch you on the next one. Later days.